All right, so uh, coach, back at Tim Hortons Field uh, for practice. How was it being back? Yeah, this, it's nice just to get into your, you know, familiar surroundings and get to work, right? Everybody's familiar. They can get back in their locker. There's no more moving around, that sort of thing. So those are things that come around every year. And then it's really about the work you get done. So we're pleased with how it started with meetings. And, you know, obviously I like the way that we moved around out there today. Uh, and then Seth Small returned uh, today. Was it, is it nice to have him back in the, in the roster? Yeah, Seth, um, it's good to have him in the building. Um, thought the other two guys did a phenomenal job for us. And, you know, we were kind of aware of Seth's situation. Uh, but until he shows up here on campus, you, you never know. So um, it was good to see him smiling. And I know he's a happy father and a happy tie cat right now. So uh, great to have him back. You could tell the guys were uh, excited also. And then uh, the trade uh, for Jonathan Kongbo, um, why why'd you want to go out and get him? Well, sometimes you're not searching. Sometimes you get calls from other teams on certain things. It's not always as things appear, right? So, you know, when we knew that there was, um, you know, there was a little bit of shopping him around, you know, we kind of huddled up and, and thought, uh, you know, is there is there a fit? Is there is there anything for us? And then from there, it, it always takes two teams to, to make a deal happen. So, um, sometimes things just work out in a certain way, and this is this is one of those times. Uh, on Congos, does that mean you can somebody like Mason Bennett can take his a little more time getting ready? Or, well, and even Jagarrett. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is that um, I don't know if you can. It's like anything in business. I don't know if you can have enough great people around and. And so this is just, you know, we're adding value to value. This isn't, um, you know, how it plays out at this point in time. I, I'd be lying if I said this This is the exact plan. Um, we just acquired a, a person that's, uh, you know, capable of filling in. And I can't exactly spell out what that means right now. When Seth arrived last year, or where you, re where you after you cut him and brought him back, Something stabilized somehow. At least you knew you were most of the time going to get some points. Would you agree there that that when, once he once he came at you were 0-4, I think at the time, and you know he had an incredible set of, set a club record. Yeah, I mean the the statistics are the statistics. I think sometimes what those don't tell are just the timely the timeliness of them, if you will, and you know, it's the pressure situations. There's a lot more into it than just, you know, whatever, 14 or 15 or, you know, whatever the whatever it may be. He's just, uh, he's a pro. He's a great person. He doesn't seem to get rattled. And if he does, he doesn't show it. Uh, he's just a pro. And, you know, it's always in the results. But, you know, yeah, it is nice to know that, you know, if you do have a drive and it ends, you know, you always want to end in touchdowns. I'd rather he lead the league in extra points. But in the uh, the event that we don't score, it obviously it's nice having somebody with that accuracy.